Wow, it's looking pretty sunny out here. I'm kind of kicking myself in the foot. Today was supposed to be socked in and snowy. So kind of took the day off, preparation day, maintenance day. And I'm just gonna briefly talk about mid-season updates on the Skidoo, how I've been liking it, any issues I've had with it so far, what I think of it compared to the players. Even though it's not really a fair comparison, they're two totally different animals, turbo, non-turbo. But where I really love the Skidoo is in the deep snow, that high horsepower it just shines night and day over the players. I do love the players in the low snow conditions. I probably even prefer it over the turbo because it, it's almost too much when the when the snow conditions are low. So players for low snow, Skidoo Turbo for deep snow. And I don't have a, a players boost to you know compare the Gen 5 Turbo 2, unfortunately, but just from everything that I've seen and I did have a boost last year, I would pick the G5 turbo over the boost. It's been pretty reliable so far this season. It did go into the shop there for about a week. Maybe that was partially my fault. Uh, what happened was it was running on one cylinder and that's because the reeds blew out on one side, which was most likely from the backfiring. And I think that just happens when there's some over revving. They say you're supposed to run it at 7,900 RPM, but it just feels so much better when it's at 81. So. I kind of run it around there most of the time, or try to. Sometimes it'll, it'll get a little high, we'll get some backfiring going on, and that's probably why the reeds are blowing out. Didn't run into that issue last year with the G4 turbo, and those sleds over revved like crazy. So I'm not sure what the difference is there, but as for reliability, that's really been the only issue I've had this season. Uh, one of my complaints about the sled though is the track ratcheting. They need to put some bigger drivers on there. Uh, no matter how tight I run the track, it seems, it still ratchets. And I've run the track so tight now that the track rods are breaking where the paddles are, right at the back where the idlers um, are on the track. And I guess we'll, we'll kind of just do a quick walk around close up of the sled. I'll show you everything that's broken, that I've broken, that's wear and tear. I'll just show you how the sled's looking at about 1800 kilometers, I think it has now. We'll start at the back of the sled here with the track. Like I said, I have to run the track super tight. So you could see where the idlers are kind of bulging out on the track here from having to run it super tight and it's still ratcheting. The track rod should be running right out to there and it shouldn't be broken right there. The rest of the track's holding up fairly well. We do have a couple split lugs. Mostly my fault from hitting stuff. We also have some cuts in the side of the paddles here, but Again, that's my fault because I forgot to cut the bolt for the bumper shorter off at the nut. So when we're bottoming out, the track's just hitting on those a little bit. That's not really any big deal at all. That's not gonna hurt the integrity of the track. The bumpers are doing good and still looking good. Then if we look at the running board, it's still pretty messed up. The bend here from when we landed in that tree. It's fully broken off right there. It's all cracked there and then the rivet that fell out on both sides so we replaced that with a bolt i'll probably get this into the shop next week and just get that replaced then looking up the rest of the sled everything's looking pretty good a little beat up we'll replace our chain case oil today as well as we're gonna get some grease into here it's been been a little bit since we've greased it still some broken plastics we replaced this bumper once from when we hit that other tree Oh. All the monster stuff on the handlebars is looking good, still working. No broken screen like people <laughs> said it would, just like the players last year. Wrap is still looking great. Definitely a little scuffed up in places, but that's what it's there for. We also put some tape on the side of this clutch vent, so when sticks slide across here, it doesn't catch the vent as easy. And uh, ever since we broke that first one, we haven't had an issue since. This belt guard doesn't really work the best. So you can see it's got a lot of space there. Belt doesn't fit into it very nicely. And then we've had to fix our steering boots a couple times and we got to fix it again today. You can see our collection of zip ties. I still think Skidoo needs to address that issue and fix the steering boots. You can see the spindle on this side where we landed in some rocks yesterday. Looks like we got to adjust our belt deflection. It's a little low. And then looking at our clutch rollers, this one hardly spins. You can hear how dry that is, so we need to get that apart and grease it. 
That one's still nice as well as that one's still nice. Having another look here, the lugs are mostly looking good besides the one or two that are mostly just for me hitting stuff. And a closer look at the broken running board here. Looks like we also caught a little something with our exhaust there. We'll straighten that out. And then our belly pan is looking really caved in here. I don't know how well you could tell. I think that was from the night ride the other day. That was a full on stump, god damn. Let's quickly get this tuned up so we're ready to rip the next couple days. Our first tool is gonna be a hammer. Perfect. Then we gotta get the ring back onto this tie rod so we can zip tie the steering boot to it. It's not always the easiest thing to do though. There we go. We also have a fresh ski rubber for this ski. Oh. Ski rubber's not too bad, but the ski is really hurting. Oil drained. So one last thing we got to do here, put on some new super glides that Marlon sent us. From trying to load up that 700 one, put a little hole in our ramp here. Thought there was more to it than just four rivets. That's super easy. That's seen better days. Okay, time to pack up for a camping trip. <laughs>